song. <laughs> it's Friday. He made it to another weekend. We're looking at a very, very important lesson today. And we always have learned the story as a child about Zacchaeus and the fact that God loved him and, and Zacchaeus got saved that day after he climbed up in the sycamore tree. But we're taking a deeper look into this and the fact that there's another lesson in this passage of scripture that there are people that God has placed into our life who feel hated, despised, outcast, different, not accepted. And because of these feelings, they many times will react in anger towards people. They will react in trying to get it even with people. And they come across as being hateful, mean, and many times are. Um, and, and But in their mind, why should they be kind? Because they've never been shown kindness. And so in this passage of scripture, Jesus makes a point to reach out to this man. And we saw that Zacchaeus was, without a doubt, wicked and wealthy in Luke 19. and But he was wondering who the Lord is. The Lord comes to him, which no one ever came to him. The Lord looked at him in the face, but no one ever did. The Lord spoke to him, which nobody ever did. And the Lord went to his house, which nobody did. Even a world around him said, how could Jesus go and spend time with this sinner, right? I mean, he was known for not good things. But that day, Zacchaeus gets saved. Luke 19 and verse number 9, this day the Lord says salvation has come to his house. Zacchaeus' life is surrendered to the Lord. He his life. He calls him Lord. He, he recognizes that the Lord is Lord and he gives half of his goods away and, and, and all the lies that his life was built upon, he destroys all of them and it says, anybody that has been affected by my lies, I will give back four times what I took from them. What a difference. So what's the secret? What was it that Jesus said that changed this man's life? Ready? Here's the answer. We have no idea. I don't know. And while we know that there's a message of the Lord and we know the gospel, something had to break that barrier down to where Zacchaeus would receive it. We have no idea what he said because that's not the main point of this lesson. It's what Jesus did. You see, for the first time in Zacchaeus' life, this is what broke down the wall. This is what broke down the separation that he had from people. This is what tore down the anger and the bitterness he had towards others. Jesus cared. He was kind. You see, the words aren't the point in this passage of Scripture. Here Zacchaeus realized that someone actually cared for him. There are so many people that God has placed into our life that we think, well, they just need help, or they're never going to change, or maybe they can find a counselor or a therapist. Maybe the one thing they need is for you to go to them today and actually be kind to them. Maybe invite them out. Maybe go and talk to them. Bring them to your house. Small gift. But build a relationship with them. Building relationships with people will begin to change people. When Jesus passed by that day, he knew as he entered Jericho where he's heading. There's many people to minister to. But there is one man that was different than everybody else. He was born with a handicap. There was one guy that never was accepted and everyone hated him. There was one guy that in his heart, though he had all the luxuries of the world, he was so lonely. And the secret to that man's life changed was that he met someone who finally cared. A crowd said, we're not letting you through. I just want to see this man, Jesus. <sighs> Go buy something, right? They were mean to him. Sent him away. But praise the Lord. He stopped and looked. And he had compassion. And he cared. Be aware. There are many Zacchaeuses that God will have in our lives. Take the time to build a relationship with them. Love on them. Because that's a soul. 
that the Lord loves to. Praise the Lord for Zacchaeus. Your house today, for what you have.